What's up, y'all? LSU Agrin here, back again with another commentary video. Before we start this video, I would like to give my thanks to everyone who showed so much support on my previous video. They're very supportive and kind, and I'm glad you guys stopped by and gave me a chance. Reading them every day, waking up this morning, seeing all your comments, it felt, it felt really nice. So thank you guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to win with a mediocre kite. So we're going against a top one spider in our server currently. Uh, and we have uh, my duo, which is playing the perfumer, rank s -Bash perfumer. And uh, s -Bash Priestess being chased right now. As you can see, this Priestess is about to die. It was around like a 15 second kite, but Good thing I'm around, I could buy some time. Right here, I predicted that uh, the spider would get cocky and not look for like, be aware of me being nearby and it worked out. Doing those type of stuns is pretty risky, but the outcome is huge. As you can see how much distance Priestess is able to get. And she's able to uh, redeem herself by kiting for, um, longer periods of time especially priests around church is almost impossible for someone like spider who has to walk and hit a person each time it's really difficult the reason because as you can see right now portals instantly gets a huge distance gets a stun and i'm here just around church harassing stunning as uh as opportunity presents itself i didn't vault the window because i was you know he might have excitement. I don't want to. I didn't want to get terror shocked this game. <laughs> we didn't need that. So Priest is doing a good kite around church, and the spider is like, man, I can't do this anymore. I can't chase this priestess no more. So it's coming after me. Right here, I didn't want to use football because uh, I knew I wasn't gonna avoid a hit if I use the football. So right now, it's pretty much. A guarantee win and uh, a guarantee win for us unless spider pulls out like some crazy abnormal cypher camping play and then get us a tie <laughs> but with the amount of cybers remaining it's pretty much a win for the survivors right here I gave a terror shot cuz I didn't get away I didn't want to get a web hit and then just buy as much time for my team to decode us as possible as you can see perfumer cypher is almost done last cypher is church uh, which priest is working on right now spider right here left my chair because he's try he's trying to pressure the cyphers that's his only chance of actually going for a tie because by just camping me the cypher will be prime and then tie turn or pop cypher or pop there's really not much of a chance for spider to do if he continues to camp this is why, as you can see, the spider just camping around middle, uh, trying to get opportunities for himself to get a free hit, anything, anything possible. The spider is not giving up. The spider is definitely not giving up, man. Give props to him. He's not giving up. That's what I like about hunt. That's why. That's why I like playing hunter sometimes. Like when you're put in this bad situation, you gotta think about what do you gotta do now. What do you What do you gotta do? As you can see, baiting perfumes out, making us waste items baiting us to come closer to get a free hit as you can see by the mech but it's a lot harder for spiders to come back right now because spiders is a type of hunter who doesn't have that much of a crazy map control he's more of a chase hunter so it's really difficult but he is trying right now we're just like man he's really just camping there he's really just sitting there making a whole you know <laughs> webs everywhere and it was like i told my dude to like do a new cypher right now do a new cypher do a new, new cypher and we're good as you can see spider takes the opportunity to pressure perfumer because he sees us healing but i took this opportunity to come back and do church you know right now we're just you know waiting for a hit pop into the cypher How do you guys think my commentary is doing? 
Honestly, the first video, I kind of cringe. I don't know. <laughs> it was just so cringy for me. But, you know, apparently the video comments was like, oh, you did a good job. I was like, okay, cool. Maybe I did a good job. Yeah. But uh, hopefully I am. Hopefully you guys are really enjoying this. Because I love making videos for you guys. And with the amount of audience I have now, it, it gives me more of a motivation to do it. So as, as you can see, the cypher pops. Me going for a gay, the bot is doing the gay. So it's pretty much a win for survivors right now, but Spider's not giving up. Spider's trying her best. He teleports knowing most of the survivors are on this side, but mechanic OP. Bot just OP. <laughs> If the person was there to doing the gate, I feel like they would have died, but the bot was there. So, he came for me. Uh, I had football, I saved up uh, when I was kiting, so he couldn't get me. Mechanic buying as much time for us as possible. Unfortunately, there's no dungeon here. Slow vaults take 10 years, you know. Mechanic doesn't want to live. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, I can't buy a custom, but like, you know, making a video for you guys, you're gonna ignore that for now. So pretty much just waiting for Perfumer to open the gate, which she's pinging right now. We're just staying here in case the spider leaves giving pressure. It's not, it's not, we're not, we're not being toxic. We're just like, you know, man, I really care this game. I'm dancing. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the, the short gameplay uh, I picked out for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Because in my head, it's all about four gameplay, four gameplay, four gameplay. Maybe a little bit of seer, seer, you know. But let me guys, uh, please let me know, guys. Like, I could play literally anything. You want me to go mines out, go mines out. You want me to, what you want to see, uh, what, wilding. I could maybe do wilding. Hopefully, people won't think I'm throwing. <laughs> but yeah, just let me know, guys. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for stopping by again. Maybe I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.